Hey, we're back. Episode six, I believe. We are here. My guy Chucky's hung about to get involved again. Hung about. Hung about. You get me? Go hanging. Get me got a volley the keeper always. Pew, pew. Bang bang. Um we've got another special guest. I told you I'm international. My show has got more passport stamps than a Nigerian scammer. And that's a lot because them man go on holidays and they get about, bro. Trust me. Listen, today we've got the only battle rapper from Malaysia. Only one. That's actually... Fuck it, he's the only battle rapper from Malaysia, bro. Only one. Uh, that's not true, but I will talk about First it. First and last. One uh, and done. Uh, yeah, Malaysia one. said I'm one and done. <laughs> First Malaysia. and last. Scene. <laughs> man <laughs> produced a Zayn Azra and was like, you know what? We can't get no better than this. Never going to be a Malaysia Let's just put an end to evolution after this. In history and that's future. He's the penultimate that's human. Let's just stop producing humans after this. Zayn Azra is the pinnacle. <laughs> but it can never get better than this. No, 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 How are we trying to one up the Malaysian battle rapper? Bro, we've got my guy. Zayn Azra. Tell us, bro. Hey, come on, my come brother. On, Welcome Zayn. to the show. Thank you Hello. for coming up. Tell us about these other Malaysian battle rappers that we know. Okay, uh, for the record, I am not the first nor the last Malaysian battle rapper. Lies. I started, uh, I started uh, battle rapping in about 2008, um, and it was for Think He Got Skills. Uh, it was basically the Malaysian scribble jam. And I wasn't even the first. Be- before that, there was a se- in two thousand and eight. Uh, sorry, t- in two thousand and seven, the year before, uh, there were still people battling each other in this tournament. One of them was Jin Hackman, was who was the first guy who I ever battled ever in two thousand and eight. And uh, even and keep in mind that I was the one who started the first written on camera rap battle league in Malaysia called Evil Poet Society. But, but, but. So it was a bunch of guys. The ones who I am most proud of are MC Stiff, who I Pause. partially spo- who I partially sponsored <laughs> that to go. Was a that's, bad a why. Name. that's a why. That's a why. That's a pose. MC Stiff, you know. Yeah, but he he's a, he's he's also a champion. He beat me as well. The champion, you know. That Man got beat more. down by the Stiff, you know. This is a pose, yeah. G. Stiff champion. And I I, <laughs> I helped to beat him down. Bro. I helped to sponsor his battles in Australia, the Philippines. He was supposed to come to the UK, but uh, <laughs> that didn't work out. And keep in mind that I was doing a two on two and don't flop. Uh, in Blood in the Water Five with Tag Matic, that's another Malaysian. So that's so that's oh yeah, after he battled with Stiff, he went on Don't Flop. So these Malaysian battles <laughs> and shit, where are their battles now? Like, where can we see them? Can we watch them online? Yes, you can watch them online. Uh, How in many fact, views they got? Um, a few thousand here and there, but the the most. Uh, viewed are the ones who when we went to uh, flip top now you have to understand the first UK versus Malaysia rap battle was not me it was Tagmatic versus Flex, Flex Digits Flex Digits was in Thailand and Flex I ca- Digits is always in Thailand didn't it do you reckon he likes the lady boy? no I think he's a Thai boxer or something N- no, my man's a martial artist. He's a, he's there, a global he's a global traveller so he was in Thailand at the time oh global traveller means sex tourist isn't it oh please Chucky let me continue Anyway, sorry, bro. So, uh, Flex Digits was in Thailand at the time, and so I hollered at him and to come down to Malaysia to bow. Tagmatic was also a champion, and then I hollered at Erwin and Kruger to send me like an intro track for Don't Flop and all that. So it was, I believe, the first Don't Flop Malaysia rap bow collaboration. You can find it online. Flex Digits versus Tagmatic. Gra- Is that on Don't Flop? No, it was on my league at the time, Evil Poet Society. So what happened to your league, bro? And we, why is your league called Evil Poet Society? And Mark Grist and Mixie and that was the Dead Poet Society. Was there a bit of biting going on there, Zane? What's no, going on, no. Zane? I started Evil Poet Society way before Mark Grist. Even. What? So Mark Grist and that bit you, look? I'm, I, nah, man. Mark, Listen. sort it out. You know, Mark Grist just dropped a children's book, innit? Really? I don't know. I don't know. Pick up Mark Chris. He dropped a children's book. I'm going to buy it for my kids because I read to my kids all the time. If you're a dad out there, you should read to your kids, you know. Man's got a big collection, I'm telling you. Mm. But yeah, it's good to, very, very good to read to your kids, man. But yeah, I'm going to, hold tight, Mark Chris. He just dropped a kid's book. Um, a rhino. Rhinos don't cry or something it's called. It's about expressing your feelings. But yeah, that's, you get me like, Mark, I pay me for promotion, bro. But yeah, sorry, bro. Carry on anyway. Go on. Okay. Um, also, there's, uh, uh, there's this, uh, there's this new battle rapper uh, from Malaysia. He's uh, I call him the new king. You gotta look him out on Twitter. I'm not. I forgot the pronunciation of his name. Does he rap in English? Yeah, he raps in English and Malay. But I told him to rap in uh, Malay. 
the reason be- the reason being is because I feel now is a good time to jump start uh, Malaysian battle rap. But I'm not gonna be running it. I want the new guys to be running it because it's time for them to rise and do their own thing. As a Malaysian battle rap OG, that's a boss talking, you know. Yeah, as a Malaysian battle rap OG, they shouldn't ask me to come back and uh, uh, organize stuff again. Not because I don't want to. Not because I don't feel I don't care about them. It's because then it'll be Zina Azrai Part Two, the new era. Nah, it should be the new guys starting their own era, their own thing, getting paid, you know, uh, getting all the credit. Uh, passing on the torch, passing the torch type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know they said to Jackie Chan, "We want you to be the new Bruce Lee," but he said, "I want to be the first Jackie Chan." Yeah, so no, I don't want anyone Jeez, to be the, the next Zayn Ezra, or whatever. He's doing his own thing. He's pretty good. I'm so proud of him. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I've, uh, his his bell rap name uh, escapes me at the moment because uh, uh, it's in Malay, blah 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 blah. But he's you'll find him on on uh, on Twitter. I'll share it later on. He's really He's a great human being. He's married, and and, uh, and then there's another guy, Soul Ash, uh, who was also who's friends with MC Stiff. He was also in Evil Poet Society. Mm. So on the real, I do not. I have never claimed, nor will I ever claim, that I am the first. Well, to us, you're the only brother that matters, bro. You're Zayn. You're Big Zayn Azra, bro. You need to get that. You need to understand yes, that. Yes, bro. You are as, the guy, bro. Yes, but as the if as the guy, it is my responsible responsibility. We don't know who these guys are. Yeah, fuck them. You're listen, the as the like, in realistic. Wait, tell Stiff pull up. Listen, no listen, listen, <laughs> listen. On the don't real, tell Stiff pull up. On the real, bro. <laughs> As the guy, it's the guy's responsibility to bring up his homies. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm completely fucking with you, Zayn. I, I know, I know, I know. With you. I completely agree. I know, with you. I, I, I know. You guys are trolling and all that, but I I'm rarely not even trolling. We're just busting jokes. Yeah, I know. Like, this is what we I know. I, the thing this is, is rare, London humor, bro. I know. I rarely get to talk about them on an internet on an international level. You're so give me another opportunity. That's what I'm saying. Big up mm. stiff, no homo. <laughs> Big up all of the man them. You get me. Big up um, <laughs> dead poet up society. Stiff. All of the man them. Evil poet society. Evil poet society, which is defunct now. Yeah. We got everything Zane's involved in. So man was talking because obviously Zane, Thanks. I know you as a Muslim, but you're a Facebook Muslim, innit? You pop, pop, you're, you're, you're Muslim for Facebook, but in real life, you're not really practicing your deen, are you? So I see you drinking and that. I was like, bro, do you drink and that? Because I was thinking like Malaysia's a Muslim country. So I said, can you get alcohol in Malaysia? So what? talk to us about how you're doing, like, what, what's the, like, like, at home? Like, what's the, like, how do you, do you, can you drink at home? Do you drink? Like, what's okay, going on? Let me, let me, let me explain uh, in, Explain, explain in detail. I never said I was a perfect person. No, of course not. Do you know what it is? I'm sorry, yeah, but you know what it is? Firstly, yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm asking you just because I want to understand a bit more. I know. Let me, my understanding from like Muslim countries and shit, yeah, is that like these things like big punishment. I know, but let's, let's, one thing at a time. Uh, ev- one thing at a time. One, one. So I do eat pork, I do drink, but, ev- but I'll be, I'll eventually stop. And I'll probably stop soon because I want to get married and then I want, and I know it's wrong. But are you allowed to eat pork at home? Like, do you eat pork in your yard? Do you cook pork at home? Let me put it this way. Legally, technically, I can't, but... Man said legally you can't put, cook pork in your yard. Not if you're Muslim, but... But you do. But, no, I don't. Okay, he's not... I go, I go, I go... I go, I go <laughs> no, 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 I go to the shops where oink, they do it oink, better. Oink, mom, clean out the deep no, fat I go, fryer. No, I go to the restaurants occasionally, where the Chinese restaurants occasionally where they do it. Yeah. Okay. And here's the thing. Legally, technically, I should, I can't drink and eat pork in Malaysia. However, the cops sort of like, we got a better shit to do, you know what I'm saying? But you see what it is? I always wonder, like, ain't your people, them who see this at home, and they're they, they going to frown upon it and be like, the Zanes. Like, the thing bad, is, like. the thing is, um, I'm in, Mal- in, those who know me in Malaysia know me as like, the bad guy. Or the, the crazy person. The crazy person. They're like, I post shit about Satanism, I post shit about, you know, liking white women, you know? And I, whenever people post stuff about religious yeah, the same thing, thing, yeah, every time <laughs> someone posts about religious stuff, I just say, "Oh, I'm I'm burning," I'm, you know, I play to the joke, you know, because like you're saying this religious stuff, and I'm burning because I'm the devil and shit. I, tr- I, I. So what you're saying is, do you really believe in the, in this religious stuff? Yes, I do. So no, but no, obviously, what I'm saying to you, why? Why troll it then? Why why post stuff about the devil and stuff if you're if you want to be a good Muslim? Mm. Because that is it is to diminish the shaitan's power to show that he's he's well he's to be he is to be mocked and he is no str- no true strength. That is my personal perspective. Everyone's got their own perspective on the matter. 
And uh, getting to your question, do people drink in Malaysia? Yes, they have. We have drink alcohol in Malaysia. We have uh, this, we have manufacturers of alcohol in Malaysia. In fact, one one uh, uh, one whiskey, Timah, won an award in in the US. Does, does everyone say it so aggressively? Hmm? How do you pronounce it? Timah. But you have to say Timah. Well, I say. It. What if you was like a northern, like a northern camp guy? Can you say Tima? Nah, you gotta say Tima. 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 What is going on? And uh, there's this one. There's this, and then there's rice wine from the Iban tribe of Borneo. Borneo includes uh, Malaysia and Indonesia and uh, Brunei. So the the Iban tribe, uh, they what they, their traditional drink. One of their traditional drinks is uh, the is rice wine called <laughs> Tua. These people, this tribe, like, what do they look like? And like, describe them, bro. For well, never seen t- a tribe like that. well, uh, well, they look like me, but uh, their traditional clothes, uh, you know, uh, include having like this whole headdress and uh, this really cool outfit. You guys gotta look them up. I B A N, Iban, and uh, I was an associate uh, producer and uh, editor of a feature-length documentary about the Iban. Uh, called Twilight of the Long House, and uh, I was there for a few weeks in a village in a long house, and it, it, it was a great time. And uh, drinking is a big part of their culture. And how long? How long was the long house, bro? I didn't measure it, bro. But you know, it was pretty long. You know what I'm saying? So, was. but in the in this long house, they had one guy had a crocodile for a pet. You know, like a guard, like a guard dog. You know, Chucky P just abandoned the podcast. Yeah, that's what happens when you find out about crocodiles being pets in Malaysia, Andrew. <laughs> oh, go on, carry on, bro. So, the thing is, Malaysia is a is a multicultural country, and uh, we have Muslims, we have uh, Christians, we have Hindus, we have Buddhists. Um, we even have a Jewish cemetery in Penang, Penang Island, because we used to have a community of Jewish people from India. But for some reason, we don't see them anymore. Uh, I I don't know what happened to them. Did they get wiped out? No, we did not wipe them wipe them out. Sounds like they got wiped out, bro. No, 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 no. Seriously, they did not get wiped out on the real. But I can I can't deny so that what, they just disappeared off the face of the. No, there was they were a very limited community, and I think uh, they they a lot of, they didn't like marry outside of their community, if I'm not mistaken, and they sort of like became <coughs> extinct over time. And I won't be surprised if some of them moved out voluntarily anyway. The truth is, is that uh, Malaysia has, a, has, has an unofficial under-the-table relationship with Israel. We buy a lot of tech from there. In public, the Malaysian government talks shit about Israel all the time for obvious political reasons. But in reality, there's a lot of business going on between Malaysia and Israel. And Israel knows about it. And we, our people know about it. And that's that's the end of the matter. For as far as I am concerned, I got love for people of all religions. Uh, uh, I I'm cool with the people of the book, Christians and Jews, and I know qu- quite a lot of really nice Jews, especially our new friend XQZ. Peep the last podcast. XQZ. XQZ. Peep the last podcast. Yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, we if we cool as human beings, especially if we cool in business, we good. We good. And that's that. So you're in the UK because you had a battle in Bristol, yeah? That's one of the reasons why I'm here. What was your bast- battle in Bristol like? My ba- in my battle in Bristol, I battled a guy who is allegedly a, a male stripper. Because I went through his Facebook and found pictures of him naked put holding a cowboy hat over his penis. And of course that... In- For me, that does scream male stripper, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so uh, he may do it casually and not get paid for it, whatever. But it's it's a it's a compelling narrative. So I took some of the another picture was he seemed to be masturbating while talking to a girl. Uh, I'm sure, it was a girl. Yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure. But but the thing is, when you look at the picture from afar, right, you can't tell it's a girl. So you know you make do with that. And he was in the bath and. And then there's another picture where he's dressed up like a little girl and shit. And you know what? I'm cool with everyone doing whatever they want, consenting adults and all that. But this is battle rap. And he thought it was a funny thing. So I had two rounds about uh, him being a male stripper and dressing up like a little, little girl for the, Vatican, for the Vatican and all this other shit. I 
So how, how do you think the battle went in general? Do you think it was a good battle? I think it was a fun battle. Uh, I think it's better than them. No, this is what I hate when people say it was a fun battle. Like no one cares if you had fun, bro. Do you think it was gonna be good for people to watch? Yes, that's what I mean. I think it was good for people to watch on both sides, mm-hmm. which I which is what I like. I think it was better than my last battle battle in Britain, uh, between me and uh, Graz something something. I forgot his name. Graza. Yeah, that guy. Uh, I Graza shots fired, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Graza? What? Did, did Graza, did Graza? No, 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 no. Was Graza shit? Gra- gra- grammar, grammar, gra- grammar, something, something. Oh, graphic, graphic grammar. Yeah, that guy. Sorry, no. Graza, Graza the the Graz, the guy who dressed up with us was was skull on his face. That he was amazing. Who's the Who's the best person you battled in the UK? In my opinion, it's by far respect. Ba, he totally crushed me. Oh, was, he's one of the best legends in the UK ever. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I was grateful for that ballot in the long run because one, I'm good friends with Respect BA. Oh, type my bro. You see Respect BA, yeah. I've never actually met him in person, yeah, but you see certain times on Facebook and them things there, like he's actually messaged man with good advice and that. Like he's actually a proper proper, proper solid dude, you know. Yes, he's he is. A legend. Yes, yes. And he's also a great writer. He's a great screenwriter. He's a very intellectual person. He's one of my good friends from friends from the UK. And uh, as a human being, he's, he, I love him. However, uh, one the the number one reason why I liked that battle was because it was the first time I stood in front of greatness. Not like a guy, not like a bal- a really good battler or a guy. And oh, I'm battling someone in another country. It was like he was. He's one of the Michael Jordans of battle rap, bro. Period. And he was the ones one of the ones who influenced my whole style because I well, he was one of the guys who I checked out. When I started battling, and it's kind of like battling Chino XL or your dad or something. So, I when he sits, you know, why Chino XL? He's one of the, my great influences as well. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was a big two pack fan, so I didn't really fuck with Chino XL. Oh, I love Chino XL. I've met him as well, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, uh, respect standing in front of Respect B and hearing his bars, I was like, wow, this is what greatness looks like, and this is where I should step up my game. I want to ask you as well, why did you take your top off when you battled O'Shea, blood? It was because Mickey Worthless told me to. There's no other reason. If Mickey Worthless told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? I'd charge him a few hundred pounds. A few hundred pounds, bro. You know you're going to die if you jump off a cliff, innit? But, you know, if it's in Liverpool, the li- cliffs <laughs> in Liverpool aren't that, you know, high, you know. <laughs> bro, all right, cool. I'm going to take you to a cliff in Liverpool and see if you'll jump. I don't think Liverpool's got cliffs, have they? Exactly, you know. So, so, <laughs> so I'm taking a cliff, an actual cliff, bro. Oh, then I wouldn't do it. Unless I had a parachute. Why? No, but you must have wanted to do it, though. It must. Have, you must have had like some reason that you wanted to do it. Bro. I'll be honest with you. I understood why he told me to take my shirt off. It was to salvage the bell. So, why? Because, you know, this guy, because half the bell is destroyed once O'Shea does his round a second time. O'Shea said he got spiked. I don't. I just think he was fucked. I I'll think be, he just I'll, got I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I'm very mixed about it. I'm very. I have mixed feelings about it. I, I love O'Shea. You know, I told you. Everyone, I love he's, O'Shea. He's the goat for me. O'Shea is the goat of UK battle yeah, rap. O'Shea. But O'Sh, he lied, bro. He never got spiked. He just he just fucked up. Here's the thing. I may be wrong. One thing I'm right about is O'Shea is a great human being and a great battler. I cherish him and all that. However, I find it very hard to believe that anyone would spike O'Shea in a KOTR battle against Zane. Of all the times you get spiked, you get you get spiked then. I find that hard, very hard to believe. Do you know why I find it hard to believe? Because O'Shea is the type of person that would most probably take most of the drug voluntary anyway. <laughs> Don't need to get spiked, you know what I mean? No, yeah. But yeah. Um, are you, when are you going home, bro? Not being rude or not, but like, what, what time are you leaving? <laughs> when you <laughs> when, fucking when you, when you gonna? Well, <laughs> I bought my flight that. yesterday. Okay, so when's it for? It's for as I'm departing on the 27th. I'll be back in Malaysia in, on the 29th. 27th of July. June. June. Okay. Yeah, I have June to be 17th. in July for my for my brother's wedding. Okay. I gotta give a speech and everything. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't do more battles while you was here. Get a little premier battles battle locked in. Or I'll be honest with you. Another reason besides battling that I came here for was to meet my boys. Oh, three you. years, three years of COVID, man, and to enjoy England. 
and to meet a few people I've been talking to online for three years. Couple Long live the, the king, couple man. Couple of the hell. I did not. I I did not use that word. Hell. I did not use that disrespectful word. Anyway, uh, on the real, on a serious note, uh, talking to Crow. Wow. What's, what's better, British pum pum or Malaysian pum pum? In my opinion, have you even had Malaysian pum pum? Yes, I have. Have you even had British pum pum? Have you even had pum pum? Yes, I have. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Because I'm saying that, man. On the Top real, pimp, man. Um, no, that's a fair question. On Pushing the real. Me. Every man is different. They have oh, different tastes. But I definitely... I would, I'd love to... Listen, no disrespect. <laughs> I would have loved to now, but I'm saying, like, obviously, back in the day, and like, I would have loved to try a Malaysian. Like, Sorry? I'd, I'd, like, Malaysian chicks, innit? Like, I'm saying, I, I, I've never... I don't know what, like, sleeping with a Malaysian woman is like compared to, like, an English woman, innit? So I'm saying you've got the opportunity, the advantage of comparison, innit? Do you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. In my personal... Like I said in the last show, comparison is a thief of joy. In my personal opinion, British women are hot as a whole, are hotter than Malaysian women. But that's my personal taste. You have to understand my taste in women. I like, I like the curves. Uh, you know, you well, know, Malaysian women ain't got curves. Not like that. Not like in Britain. <laughs> not like in Britain. In, in Malaysia, you don't like curves, I bet man. you right now, if I go on porn up, I can find Malaysian chicks with curves. Not like yeah, this in the UK. In, in, in Malaysia, a C and D cup is considered massive. In the UK, you know, I met a chick the other day who... Double what, G's on it. Double, uh, double G's. K is, she, one chick I met at an event, she was a K. Jeez. K, as in for knowledge and shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, on the real though, I was... I, I have never met Crow in person before. I've been talking to Crow. We've, I've been showing him his, my bars and he's been showing my... You know how battle rappers, sometimes we go through each other's shit and give each other feedback and all that. From the day from day one, talking to him, I knew he would become a goat one day. And when I finally got to the UK and saw him pull off Goat Crow, I felt like... I'm older than him, so I guess I can say this. I felt like a proud dad. Because I told him over and over again, you could be a goat, goat not just a pretty good battle rapper or a good battle rapper. You, sh- you can be a, go- a goat. You should just embrace it and not accept anything less. And he proved me right. And the feeling of seeing him achieve goat status live in front of my eyes in London, you can't replace that. Bro, a crow becoming a goat is, is, a, is a magic trick, bro. Huh? It's what? A crow becoming a goat is a magic trick. Exactly. And another thing, Sorcerer. Tech, seeing tech kill villain. I love villain, by the way. Seeing, seeing tech kill villain live in front of me. That was also. I love villain too, but he fell off as a battle rapper, man. It's not like it's, it's sad to see, man. As a fan, as a brother, uh, he had. I, I had high hopes. Like he should be up there as one of our legends, as one of our goats, but he had the opportunity. Like he was well coveted and you get me lots of views, killing it, and then. I don't know, man, but this is the thing with battle rap sometimes, bro. You could just be at the top. You don't know what people are going through in their life, innit? In terms of, like, real life, mental health, whatever. And then you just, all, all of a sudden, like, man ain't hitting the way man want them to hit no more. And all, as a fan, you feel disappointed. But really, it, do we even have the right to be disappointed? Here's the playing? thing. Here's the thing. When Sweet. I'm 39 years old, I'm, t- Facts, I'm, 39, Facts, I'm 39 years old. If I was t- 2012, Zane, I would have said, yeah, how, you're talking that real shit. But 39 years old... <laughs> Your old Zane, right? I'm happy that villain is alive. I'm happy villain is still a cool guy. All this other stuff is ex- is extra shit. Maybe he'll be still, be- maybe he'll maybe he's you know if you say he's fallen off, whether he's fallen off or not or not, it's come to a point where he's a great human being. He's a great friend. I wanted to go to when we were at the when we were chilling out at the hostel, right in Bristol, yeah. And I wanted yeah, to that grin. We sit at the hostel, right? Yeah, so I was I, wanted, that bit. I originally happy. wanted to go censor that bit. I or, I when you're in the Hilton in Bristol, yeah, yeah. Oh. carry on. I originally originally yeah. I wanted to go back to my hotel and shit. And then he told me right. to hey, stay. That hostel's lit though. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, that hostel's lit. And oh, is that the one we use it? And yeah, that's a bit bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm lefty about my hey, if you watch if you watch the Waffle Olympics podcast, yeah. That's on the you don't. The if you're watching this, don't watch that, man. Don't watch <laughs> that shit, man. Don't watch that shit, man. There. Big but up Toby, but don't watch that shit, man. If you, if leave you a dislike. Do, see, lefty, you know lefty. Everyone leave a dislike. Lefty, leave a dislike. Asking about table tennis. Asking about man smoke. Yeah, he doesn't want the smoke anymore. Anyway, villain, villain was the one who said, Damn Dave, man, you came all the way here. You want to go back to the hotel? Deal with the gang now. Come on, stay over. And then I stayed over. And no I, homo. Yeah, with the homies, you know? 
Oh, uh, homie, homo. But on the real though, no I homie. I, let, let me get this out so that I, I love no homophobia or evil. We're just joking, by the way. Uh, because we got only half an hour, I want to Disclaimer. get out all the stuff I wanted to say. Don't remove the ads L- on the video. Villain is such a great human being. Definitely not. I, of course, I would want him to be still peak villain. But even if he's not peak villain, so. Oh, villain's my guy, bro. Yeah. Villain's a very talented. Villain's my guy, man. Oh, right. oh, and I'm not the kind of guy <laughs> on a Hulk, on a real Hulk. the most wise podcast. Hulk. <laughs> I told you, why did you start? Why did you, why did you get started? You can't start. We ain't even asking also, the important also, questions. No, 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 and also Hulk. Um, for me, this is my personal thing, right? If you want your, your guy, your homies to reach the pinnacle, right? Even when they fall, you talk to them in private mm, yeah, and maybe say a few things publicly that are minimal. Uh, but I won't go on a podcast and say, you fall Even whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter because you, I want my guys to. That sounded mad aggressive though. Headphone users, rest yeah, in no, no, peace. No, no, I want my guys. Face. I want my guys to succeed, <laughs> and it, wait, and uh, it's best to keep it between the homies. Yo, you're, you know, this could have been better. You know what it is though. Sometimes, obviously, when the whole public can see it, it's something like it's not like it's not a secret in it. Do you know what I'm saying? I know, yeah, but. but but maybe I shouldn't be losing to tech, bro. No disrespect to tech either. Obviously, I smoke tech, but that's no disrespect to him as well. Like he was, he's, he's still coming up in the game, bro. And tech's gonna tech's turning into an animal. He's turning into an animal already. But at the same time, people from villains' experience and skills and levels shouldn't be losing on paper to someone like tech, bro. That's like fucking Man United losing to Burnley, or you know what I mean. QPR, bro. But Hulk, God, you notice? God, God rest the dead. Hulk, you notice? You Hulk, you notice? I'm not disagreeing. You was. I'm not disagreeing. Super with, hoops. I'm not disagreeing blah, with blah. you, but at the same time, you know, villain knows how what, villains what villain knows what I think, and that's what matters. And you want you want your friends to perpetuate to uplift their brand to a very peak level. You you don't want to you know even if let's say Chucky P is your man, right? Chucky P, let's say Chucky P has this Pause. your homie, your friend, Pause. masculine friend, yeah. Pause so, even more, <laughs> bro, bro. Come on, even but Ch- more let's say Chucky is, has a has a business, right? And you know, and he of selling cookies, but his cookies are whack. You wanna go? Pause. You don't, no, you, you don't wanna go on a podcast and talk about his whack ass cookies. Listen, I will, I will, I will. No, that's what makes but, you a good friend. Yeah, is when you will be honest to man. You know, no, yes, but, will, but, bro, but telling Chuck your friends their dick makes bro, you a listen, better friend. But yeah. before I go on that podcast, I'll tell Chuck, listen, your cookies are shit, right. yeah. And we'll then bust a little shit. joke, and then we'll jump on the podcast, and I'll be like, yeah, I told Chuck already, his cookies mm. are shit. Mm. Bam. Done. Yeah. So it? what's Lizzie C saying these days? What? Huh? Lizzie C is amazing. Is an amazing person. In my last battle, I got <laughs> uh, I got told that Chucky was asking her for nudes. Yeah. I don't know. These men are trying to still use this shit from old school. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I don't see nothing wrong with a young man asking a young woman for nudes. I'm going to put it out there. You know what I mean? Well. It's not, it's not his fault she's lesbian. If you're exchanging, right. you know I mean? if you're exchanging, then it's just fair game, isn't it? Well, I don't know about the situation of, I don't know about the context of the situation. All I can say is, Zane, you see you now. You're a pagan. You see your, you, you see you for, you see if you got love for Lizzie C. Yeah, the fact that you sat on this podcast for this long with Chucky P. Yeah, they're gonna see you as a snake, bro. They're gonna be like, nah. What? Wait, wait. You got you're cool with Chucky P, bro. You are. I didn't dick, even know that. Bro. Yeah, nah, bro. You're cancelled in Ireland now, bro. I didn't even know that Chucky 100%. P and Lizzie C. Had you're cancelled in the main streets of Ireland, but you see in the hoods in Ireland, man, I've certified. Old type, my real Irish dogs. You get me? I didn't but, even know there was beef between Chucky P and Lizzie C. I didn't even know that. Lies. I didn't even know, honestly. He's capping. I've got other shit to think about. I'm no offense, Chucky. Bro, we spoke about it before the podcast, innit? Zane no, said, I, fuck that bitch. No, I'm joking. I didn't see this. Sir. I'm back to this. <laughs> Zane Najah said he's writing a diss tune. <laughs> oh. All right, Zane, listen. What's happening next, though, for you, bro? What's going on? Like, ne- next battle's uh, coming up. Okay. Um, I'm working on getting to Dublin. That's on Lizzie C now. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm... <laughs> Hey, big up Lizzy C though, know, real. Hey, banter's aside of that. Li- hey, big up Lizzy C, you know, that's my nigga. You get me? Even though she's not Pause. a nigga, she's my nigga. Nah, for real talk, real talk. That's yeah. my ginger. And on the real, <laughs> on the real, whatever Chucky P and Lizzy C got to say about each other. For me personally, let's like what Cool G Rap said. Cool G Rap said, beef is when you- Let's Cool G Rap. No, no, listen. Wait. Cool G Rap said, all this stuff isn't beef to me. Beef is when you want to move your mom out of the hood. What's so. beef? Like Biggie, you should have called it Biggie because a little bit more. Yeah, so I, you know, you know, 
stuff on Facebook. You know, Koji, Koji's my nigga. I prefer Koji rap over Biggie Smalls. I'm gonna yeah, put yeah, out yeah. right now. Yeah, so on the real, so it's like unless unless there's the risk of people dying, it ain't beef. It's just people having a problem with each other. Yeah, does that make sense? So Zay, now ask everyone, what's it? who's your celebrity crush, bro? My favorite celebrity crush ca- uh, has got to be Brianna Banks. Lizzie C. Who? Brianna Banks. I swear it's Brianna, Brianna, Brianna Banks. Yeah. Yeah. Brianna Banks, yeah. You're saying it like in a man version. We call him Brian. Brianna. Brianna Banks. Hey, it's Brianna. Brianna Banks. And uh, <laughs> I just don't give a fuck what we have to say that. Anyway, who else? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't find. Oh yeah, and who is Brianna Banks? Anyway? Brianna Banks was at one point. Star, yeah, she's a porn star. Bro, that don't count, bro. Brianna Wankshin. Uh. Yeah. I said a porn star straight away. You know? Yeah, because to be honest, I don't find many. His longest things ever is a porn star. I ain't seen that pussy, so I can't decide yet. That's I, what you're basically no, saying. No, no, no. That's not hey, what. What about saying. Laura Tarsi? <laughs> huh? What's Laura Tarsi saying? What I don't know who. What Laura Tarsi? Yeah, you know who that is. I don't know any Laura Tarsi. Yeah. No, I don't know any Laura Tarsis. Anyway. Uh, it's a battle rap group, isn't it? Like celebrity out of a film or something. It's a battle rap group. Okay. <laughs> Shit that you'd fuck like, no matter what, yeah. you see that. Pamela Anderson. Like, Pamela Anderson. Back Another porn day. star. No, when Pamela. Wait, younger, wait. When she was younger, I'm not attracted to Man, just literally just naming porn stars. No. <laughs> All right, so what if what's her name? <laughs> Brianna Banks. Uh huh. Yeah. What if Brianna Banks said, "Listen, Zane, I'm gonna come into your room right now. Yeah, this is the real, real thing. Yeah, just picture it in your brain. Yeah. She said, "Listen, I'm gonna come into your room right now. Me and you are gonna get it on." She walks in with the sick thing on, like all leather straps and that. Yeah, you got all, all your, you get me? Like you got a little swing suspender up in the air. All of these things. Yeah, mad Strap little on sex dungeon. Then. Yeah, your your biggest wildest fantasies, bro. But she said, listen, your your mum and dad are gonna watch. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. But the, you're you're down. I'm down. You're down. Yeah. Come on. Do you reckon your mum and dad will get involved? Do you reckon they'll try and jump in and fight her off or like if twenty year old Zing got Brian and Banks saying, you know, but you got your parents gotta watch, I'd be like, cool, but you gotta convince them, you know? I can't I mean I don't care who's watching. It's Brian and Banks. Fuck it. Well fuck me being twenty years old when I'm like sixty and shit. <laughs> You know, we're going to get it on. Anyone can watch. Hulk can watch. Chucky e. P can watch. <laughs> you can watch. Cameraman your parents, can watch. though. Your mom and dad, bro. I don't give a shit. They know what, I, they know what I'm all about. They, they know what I'm all about, you know? I hear that, but no one wants to actually have sex and bust them out in front of their parents. You guys are such prudes. Oi, clip that bit. <laughs> clip that. Million views. Million views. Clip that. We're all adults here. And it's Brian and Banks. And that's the way to get her in. And she's into that. My only, my only question. Need to clip up a picture of her when, like, like My only, my only, my only gripe is that she has to, con- she has to do the convincing because I ain't calling my parents to watch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and also, I'm an open. Bro, my- how many packets of hula hoops is this nigga eating, bro? What's two. Going on? Uh, no, one and a half so far. I'm in the middle of two. Man, just busting through the hula hoops, bro. No. Zane, who's your before we wrap it up, who's your um like the battle the person that you want to battle the most in the world? Oh. I would say conceded. Oh. Why do you want to get body so bad, bro? Trust me. Because uh I love him as a battler. And you say who I want to battle in the whole world? Not realistically. They, you you didn't you didn't ask me realistically, as in this is a fantasy scenario. Yeah. It's conceded. Well, conceded is realistic, though. No, it's not. I it mean, is. you're a not? legend, bro. You're the only Malaysian battle rapper of all time. Like you're a legend, bro. But he's conceded. He's been on wild and out, wild and, out and all that. Yes, yeah, so you'll start wilding out right now. On no flop, flop, bro. Huh? Trust you've been on don't flop. You're in twelve way right now. You've been on twelve way. Yeah, no you've been, way you've been in no fault. Oh, Stab them up now, I'm joking. <laughs> I hear what I'm saying, though. <laughs> Bro, yeah, blank that. Where, well. where can they find you? What you got coming up? Plug your shit, promote you your at? shit. What's the uh, movies? What you working on? Okay, um, okay, I don't, I don't plug my movies on uh, Battle Rap. It's not plug, it's plug. I don't plug, I don't plug most of my film industry stuff on. Uh, Man's out here, ESO classes every Thursday, two till three. Hosted by Bracy. No. You can find me on Zane <laughs> as right. Trouble. Hosted by Bracey. You can find me on Zane as right tweets on Twitter. Z a i n a z r a i tweets on Twitter. 
You can add me on Facebook, uh, Zain Azrai Official, uh, or Official Zain Azrai, uh, on Instagram and Facebook. And I'm very easy to find. There's only one Zain Azrai who's a battle rapper slash screenwriter. Yeah, that's me still. What are you saying? Do you want to battle me before you go home, bro? I'm calling you out right Right here, now, right go. Now. First not, round, not don't right hope. now, but I'm saying oh. to you, bro, in a week or something, before you go home, we'll link up, we'll do a battle, bro. Get a one round. How around. much? Bro, listen. Bruv, just, you're getting more out of your trip. I'm gonna give you two game. handshakes and a spud, bro. Um, uh, think about it this way. You're bro. getting more content out of your trip, in it. So yeah. you're getting more free packages, more, packets of more cons- promotional. One Rubicon, yeah, but content and a spud. Isn't the- How much did I pay you, bro? Oh, I oh. don't know. Fifty. Oh. Well, listen. Oh. He paid me about fifty thousand pounds, and I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he just looked in his direction and retweeted one of his things on Twitter. I never gave you hula hoops, bro. Get true. But I gave, gave you none of hoops. He went to Nando Hoops. Yeah, he gave me that Nando's money, bro. Trust me, Nando's But anyway. Money. That 13 pound. Uh, anyway. <laughs> sure. My trip isn't mo- isn't so much about content. Uh, yeah. Okay, it will be good, bro. I'm telling you. You know what I'll do? Yeah. Uh, hear what I'm saying to you. Mom will get you two pieces of chicken and chips. Yeah. What? A marinda. Yeah. A couple zoots. Yeah. Well, good, bro. Oh. Really but, good, but here's the thing, uh, Hulk. You're on my guys not to battle list because you're you're a homie. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no shit. On the real, you're on my. Is it because you know I smoke your boots. The crunching says it all, isn't it? No, that's that's your bones, bro. That sounds like your bones, bro. Nah, man. I thought you was meant to be the guy from Malaysia, blood. Come if on. we work, what if I get you to battle Chucky P and I pay you some dough before you go? We got then if it's like hundred pounds plus, we good. Bro, I'll give you a score, fam. A uh, what? A score? What? Yeah, he doesn't know what it means. Yeah, it's lounge, man. Yeah, a, score, what, what, yeah, a score, score of what? Yeah, score. A score in Malaysia money. Hmm? What's the score? Twenty Malaysian reds. What? What's your currency called? Malaysia ring it. Well, what's the what's the ring score? It. What do I mean? Fuji's album, bro. Hmm? What? Oh, I don't remember. You're here with a few G's. All right, listen. Chuck, where are they finding you at on the socials and that, bro? Where we are right now. Subscribe to Hoax Ting, man. Don't worry about everyone else, man. Subscribe to Hoax Ting. Big up the 12 way Ting. Yeah. All of that gang shit, man. Big up Zayn Ajay. Bang, bang. Zayn, listen, hey, for all of the Muslims watching back in Malaysia, yeah, I'm one of Zayn's good guys. I don't even encourage all of this shit. I didn't offer him alcohol. I didn't offer him pork. I tried to give him crisps. Flex. He peer pressured us. Yeah. He's yeah. doing this thing with his guys. Trust me. Yeah. Zane, where are they finding you at? Promote your things. I right. did. Uh, you can, where are they following you? Uh, yes, you can follow me on Twitter. Zane as right tweets. Z-A-I-N. No one cares about Twitter anymore, bro. What's the Instagram? He'll be in Harvester. Snapchat. You can look me, up, look me up on Instagram. Uh, Zane as right official or official Zane as right. My name Z A I N, A Z R A I, official, oh. or oh, I just I just morphed into a fucking demon halfway through. His yeah, outro. Yeah, and, <laughs> and turned into I Riley said, out the window. Official. And on and, and, to, and, and to and said, to and to and to reference what what Hulk said. Yes, I'm doing this of the on my own free will, <laughs> but eventually I'll stop. Bro, that sounds like a kidnap video, bro. Don't do that. Bro. Hold the man for ransom. No, nah, man, I know you're not kidnapping me. <laughs> I right, big up all But the sooner or later But eventually I'll Shh. stop That's it Alright listen Done This is the Battle Rap show <laughs> Battle Rap Daily I don't know what's going on anymore innit? I've, I'm pretty lost But listen Make sure you subscribe to the channel Like the thing Tell your mum to like the thing Share it with a couple of your boys and that innit? You know them WhatsApp group chats and that yeah? Like Get me Send it innit? About and that innit? Follow my guy Chuck Follow Zane as right yeah, these are golden moments. We ain't got in like these Malaysian guys from fucking film industries and that coming into first ever people to do it in a little podcast and that first guy to do it. Fuck MC Stiff. Yeah, I love uh, MC Stiff. Stiff. Yeah, pause. Safe, safe.